Hello everyone. In this session, let us discuss about the simple algorithm, which is list then eliminate algorithm. So in this list then eliminate algorithm, finally it will produce us a version space. Okay. So in the version space, it is producing us a list of all hypotheses. So here, if you see the steps, the version space contains a list containing every hypothesis in capital H. So capital H contains a set of hypotheses. And then for each training example, x comma c of x, remove from the version space any hypothesis small h for which h of x is not equal to c of x. That means if your hypothesis is not matching with the target concept, that means Suppose if the instance is satisfied as a positive one and your hypothesis is classifying it as a negative one. Okay. So then we will discard that. Out of the given, out of the set of hypothesis, one is not agreeing with the target concept. Target concept is saying yes, but the hypothesis is saying no. So we will simply eliminate it. So like that, Whichever set of hypotheses are not agreeing with the target concept, we will eliminate them. And finally, we will output a list of hypotheses in the version space. So let us, to understand this algorithm, first let us know the meaning of what is meant by a consistent hypothesis and how to construct the version space. Okay, so let's see that first. So a consistent hypothesis is one. For example, if we take a hypothesis small h is consistent with a set of training examples indicated with the letter capital D, if and only if h of x is equals to c of x for each example x comma c of x in capital D. So that means for all x, that means for all instances of the target concept C of X belonging to the training examples capital T if H of X is equals to C of X. So that means your hypothesis is saying yes. So that means it is classifying the instance as a positive one and your target concept is also positive. If your hypothesis is saying the example as a negative one and if your concept also target concept also is saying it as a negative one. Okay. So in this case also, it is a consistent hypothesis. That means both the hypothesis and the target concept should say the same thing. They should convey the same thing. You know the general meaning of consistency, right? So suppose if two friends are discussing or if they are reporting about one incident, okay, if both of them in report the incident as the same, then we say both are consistent with each other. So then we can trust that particular report, whatever they have given. Otherwise, we might be in a dilemma. So that sort of situation should not arise here. Okay. So everything must be consistent. Suppose if the hypothesis says yes, your target concept should also be yes. Here actually, hypothesis should agree with the target concept. That is the thing. Okay, so this is a, about the consistent hypothesis. Now, in the version space, what we do is we will only consider the subset of hypothesis from the hypothesis space capital H, okay, which are consistent with the training examples capital D. For example, if I have four hypotheses H1, H2, H3, and H4, okay. So this will be my initial version space. Out of this, suppose if H3 is not agreeing with the target concept, that means this is inconsistent. H3 is inconsistent. So what I do, I remove this inconsistent hypothesis from the version space. And finally, I will output only H1, H2 and H4. So that is what the meaning of the version space. So it is nothing but the set of all hypotheses from the hypothesis space. So this is our hypothesis space, which is containing 
four hypotheses. In that, we are taking the hypotheses which are consistent with the training examples. Okay. So, if your training example is classified as positive by the target concept, then your hypothesis should also say it as a positive one and vice versa. Okay, so let us see this with the help of an example. So this is the enjoy sport data set, whatever we have. Okay. So here, if you see, totally we have four instances. Okay, so let us name them as X1. Instead of saying it as one, two, three, four, let us call it as instance X1, X2, X3, and X4. Okay. So now which are positive instances? X1 is positive because it is saying yes. Okay. Similarly, X2 is also a positive one because the target concept is yes. Okay. Similarly, X4 is also positive. Only X3 is a negative one. Okay. So this is the C. Of, what will be the C of X value here? So if it is positive, C of X value is 1. Otherwise, C of X value will be 0. Right? So now, let us take hypothesis H1, H2 and H3. So now let us see how many of the out of H1 and H2, H3. How many of them will satisfy all the instances and how many will not? Okay, so let us first uh, go through H1. Okay, so in H1, the first attribute value is sunny, warm. Let us take X1, the example X1, let us take and compare with this. Okay, sunny and sunny, same, warm and warm, same. Here I have normal, here I have question mark. Okay, agreed. Strong and strong. Same, warm and warm, same, same and same. Okay. So that means this hypothesis is classifying the target attribute as a positive one. So because all the attribute values are accepted by this. So it is classifying this as a positive. Originally also it is a positive one. Okay. So this is consistent. Next, let us come to the next example. Sunny and sunny. Warm and warm. Here I have high, but here I have a question mark. So anything is acceptable. Let it be normal or let it be high. It is acceptable. Next I have strong here. Here also I have strong. Next I have warm. Here also I have warm. Next I have same. Here also I have same. So that means this hypothesis is classifying X2 as positive. And originally also it is a positive one. Next. Coming to the third example. So here I have rain. Okay. Uh, one second. Let me modify the definition of this. Instead of sunny, let us take a question mark. So that it has to accept this rainy as well. Otherwise, if you keep sunny, also not an issue. Okay. So let us keep it, take it as sunny only. Okay. So here I have rainy. Here I have sunny. So that means first itself, there is a mismatch. So that means this instance is classified as a negative one by the hypothesis. But actually what it is, it is a negative hypothesis. Okay, so now this is also tallied. Next, coming to the next. So let us take the first one, sunny, sunny, warm and warm, high and question mark, strong and strong, cool and warm. So here there is a mismatch. Okay. So here there is a mismatch. So, so the hypothesis will classify the instance as a negative one, but actually what the instance is, it is a positive one. So is this hypothesis consistent with all the examples? No. So it is consistent only with X1, X2 and X3, but it is not consistent with X3. It is not. So what we should do? Should I add it in the version space. So initially my version space is containing all three hypotheses H1, H2 and H3. Okay. So out of this now H1 was proved as an inconsistent one. So I have to eliminate this. So now what my version space contains, it contains only H2 and H3. Similarly, let us check with H2, H2 and example one. 
Excellent. Sunny and sunny, warm and warm. Same. Rest all are question marks. So it is classifying X1 as a positive one. And originally also X1 is a positive one. So both are agreeing. Here H of X is same as C of X. Both are saying the same thing. So I can accept. Next, coming to the second example. Sunny and warm followed by all question marks. So it is classified as a positive one. And the example is also a positive one. Next, coming to the third one. First one is rainy. Here I have sunny. There is a mismatch. So the example is classified as a negative. And actually also the example is a negative one. Coming to the fourth example, sunny and sunny. Here I have warm. Here I have question mark. Next I have strong and strong followed by question marks. Here there should be one minute question. We are checking the question. Okay, sunny and warm matching followed by all the question marks. So X4 is also is classified as positive by H2 and actually our example is also positive. So I can keep my H2 in the version space, no issue. Next, coming to the H3. So if we come back to H3, so let me modify it a little bit. And or instead of sunny, let us uh, take this as. So let me take it as sunny only. Sunny. I think here one attribute value is missing. Question mark. Question mark. Followed by this. Let us take it as strong. Question mark. No question mark. So this is our H3. So now let us check with all the instances. Okay. So first is sunny. Here also I have sunny. Followed by two question marks. Then I have strong. Here also I have strong. Followed by two question marks. So that means this is classifying X1 as a positive one. Okay. And actually also X1 is a positive one. Similarly, checking with X2. Okay, it is the hypothesis H3 is classifying X2 as positive and it is also positive instance. Next, coming to H X3. Well, here I have rainy. Okay, here I have sunny. There is a mismatch. So that means the instance is not accepted by the hypothesis. That means it is classified as negative. X3 was classified as a negative one. And actually also our instance X3 is a negative one. The target concept also says negatively about this. Okay, so this is consistent only. Next coming to the fourth one, sunny, question mark. And here I have strong. So X4 is also accepted. So only H1 was eliminated. And finally in the version space, we have... H2 and H3 alone. X1 is ring. So this is what the list then eliminate algorithm is talking about. Hope you followed the concept. If you like the concept, do like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any queries, please post in the comment section. Thank you.